Hello and welcome to another video. So if you're new here, I am Rachel, a senior product designer working in Malaysia and this is my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 15 tips to design 15 times faster in Figma. I don't know whether it's 15 times faster, it's just for the title, right? When I start a new file, I will usually change the background to a dark color and I'll just use this color code because it's easier to remember. So I'm just going to use a project that I designed for a client so I can walk you through some tips to design faster in Figma. So the first thing, for example, when you're designing something in Figma and maybe you forgot a keyboard shortcut or you want to launch a plugin, right? I'll just hit Command P. You can search menu commands or plugins. I will usually search for a plugin called Iconify, right? While this plugin launched, I will just drag this over here. Boom, there you have a radio button already. So I could also use this quick action to do other things like say I want to add a comment, um, use as a mask, you know, even you want to tweak the nudge amount so that when you nudge it, it will be 8 pixels. And sometimes if you forgot what's the shortcut key for color picker, for example, you can just type color and you click on it, you can pick your color straight away. Color picker is always I. For example, if I have turned these into components and I'm not sure which component is part of the design system, I'll just hit Command Y to view outline. And once the outlines are visible, anything that is purple means that it's already a component and I'll try to convert as much as possible into components so that I have a better scalable design system. When you want to duplicate something, hold on Option and just drag this thing so that you could have duplicates of this or you could press Command D. You could also duplicate this right, by holding on Option and just dragging. If you just keep on like letting go of the Option key, you could undo your action. So yeah, this is one of the tips is to duplicate something. Another tip I like to share is, so press 1. It will bring you to the entire artboard and fit to your screen. If you are trying to work on this text here, you can tap 2 to zoom in into this selection. Another tip is, for example, if I am trying to gauge, you know, what is the box size for this, sometimes um, I want to adhere to my margins on the side and I want to keep the equal spacing. I will just do a math here, like for example, minusing the 20 pixel margin on the side. But let's say I want to split into three boxes. Say the middle spacing would be 12 pixels. I will just deduct 12 by two times, divide by three. So now that you can see their faces in between is 12 pixels and they are aligned to the margin on the sides. So yeah, this is one of the math you could do on the side. For example, if you have a progress bar and you're trying to illustrate step 1 to 5, you could just take one of these 335 full length divided by 5 steps times 1. And this is obviously 335 because of the last step. So now you have progress bars that are precise. So in a case where you know you are trying to export multiple icons or your developer asks you, you know, how can I export multiple icons at your file because I don't want to export one by one. So there is a trick for this. So once you have selected all your icons, tap on export here, add all the different sizes that your developer wants the export to be in. For example, I want to export in SVG and PNG and I will just tap on command shift E here to batch export all these icons and you can straight away export them. So batch export icons is really helpful in Figma. Another really quick tip that you could use is for example, if you want to copy a font style or a photo, right? You could just hit on command option C and command option V to paste it and now you have the same font style. If um, say you want to copy this style and paste it here, you can as well. Even for photos, right, you could do the same. So I'm just going to command and select on this photo here. Command option C to copy the style. Command option V to paste it over on this iPhone photo and you get the same thing. So this is really useful if you want to work fast and ensure that your design styles are consistent with other components. So yeah, and if you have a small screen like me, you could just press command and full stop to hide or show the UI. You could also tap on command 1 to go back to your space or tap on command 2 to go to the first page or the third page. In the case where you have a 16 pixel icon here and it is in the form of a stroke, when you resize this icon, it will actually resize the stroke. You see, it will look thicker when it's smaller and looks thinner when it's enlarged. How do I ensure that my icon strokes are uniform? I will take this icon, just hold option to duplicate it. I will hit on command shift O to outline this stroke so that when it's enlarged, see it's gonna be uniform. Another way is command E this 
and it will be flattened. So yeah, this is to outline your strokes using Command Shift O. If you have multiple icons here and for some reason you want to lay them in a layout, just tap on Shift A to create an auto layout immediately. You could tap here to make it vertical or horizontal. You could even add padding around these icons. And if you change your mind, you want to make it back to horizontal, you can. So yeah, this is auto layout and just tapping Shift A. Sometimes you want to batch rename your layers. So let's take this example that I want to rename three of these frames here on Figma. Select these frames, hit on Command R to rename all of them. And say I want to rename um, this to Explore and I'll just put something like this. So it will rename these layers according to the number. So yeah, this is how you can rename layers by batch by just hitting Command R. For example, I duplicated this thing and I want to move it over here without it coming out of the frame. How do I do that, right? I want it to still stay in that frame just now. I'll just drag this inside here. I'll hold on spacebar and look at it. If I let it go, it will still be in this frame here. So if I hit spacebar again, it will be inside this frame. So whenever you're in a frame that you want to keep it in there, just hold spacebar and it will be just quietly and happily in this frame. You know, when you're presenting your designs to a stakeholder and you're viewing it in prototype mode, um, you can tap on Z. Just keep tapping on Z where you can fill your screen, zoom to 100% or fit to your screen. You can tap on command dot to show the toolbar so that it doesn't distract the user. These are all the controls that you have. And the last tip is, you know, when you are creating something, always use frames because if you turn it into a group, the sizing is going to be weird. But if you turn it into a frame, which is like this, for example, if you're creating a button, instead of creating a rectangle at the back, you know, turn this into a frame instead. So always leverage on frames in Figma and your design file is going to be way more cleaner. So you could still clip content. You make sure that your button text and all that doesn't go out of the frame. You could drag these and, you know, prototype it. Whereas for a group, you can't do that because it's not a frame. So try to keep your designs in frames instead of groups. If I want this to be an icon, I will just use Command Option G to frame them together. I'll just group these two, but frame something outside of it. So it will be easier for me to select everything in the frame when I group them together. So yeah, these are my 15 tips for you to design faster in Figma. Let me know if this video helped you. I hope that you have found some new tips that you have never seen before. I hope these tips help you save time, be more productive at your work. If you like what you see, subscribe, comment if you have any video suggestions for me, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.